<sighs> so I just filmed a little bit of what I'm about to say, um, but um, my memory card was full, which is frustrating because this is an emotional <laughs> video. Um, so going through all of this again is annoying. Um, but okay, so. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with uh, lately for the last two weeks I've been uh, feeling tingling in my legs and uh, it started in my toes and it has now spread upwards to my lower back uh, and it seems to not spread further at the moment, but it is getting more and more intense. Um, so here's the thing, when in 2014, 1st of July, then I went vegan. And after going vegan, I've had three um, health issues. So the first one was my eyes um, that was reversed when they injected me with a vitamin cocktail including thiamine um, and then I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis which is an inflammatory bowel disease and now I feel tingling in my legs um, and that is frustrating and I feel that since I went vegan for health um, I, you know I was already in the plant-based mentality um, and I've uh, learned a lot about how eating plant-based could be beneficial when done right and then I f learned about veganism and took it a step further so instead of only being plant-based I went 100% plant-based and adopted a vegan lifestyle um, and since then becoming sick is I, it's like I feel like I've been cheated on um, and I'm the type of person who follows mainstream recommendations and the recommendations are all the same um, when you go to health organizations they say veganism can be done right when you do this and that eat your legumes every day uh, eat healthy oils and all of that then you um you uh, be, being vegan can be beneficial even um and that's the type of research i go to um i want to see what the majority of people say and so having one doctor say something is not something i take for gospel i don't really focus on just one person I want to see what a mo what the majority says and it's the same you can be a healthy vegan and here is how you do it and that's the tips I've been following and I've also talked to a clinical nutritionist who has helped me and I still keep getting sick and it is frustrating as hell because I don't want to go back to eating animal products but I feel like for every year there is a new disease and I'm always scared um, that something will happen and I feel that veganism shouldn't be this hard you already restrict with what you buy and what you consume which isn't really much of a problem for me anymore um, 
it might have been in the beginning, but I feel that as long as I'm making good food at home, it doesn't really affect me. Um, so I've adapted very easily a vegan lifestyle at home. Um, the issues I've had with it really is my health issues, which can't be proven that it, it's directly linked to being vegan. Um, and it's also been socializing. But that's a different video, the socializing aspect. But the health aspect, when I talk to my um, doctor who's uh, a specialist in colon and bowel diseases, he said to me that my ulcerative colitis is not because of what I'm eating and my um, eye doctor she said to me that when I got my eye problems she said that oh we're not supposed to eat the way you do and now my uh, my other doctor, who I go to regularly, he says that my neurological damage in my feet uh, can can be because I'm vegan, but it's difficult to say. So when you then have three things happening every year, and people, and I keep reading that being vegan can be beneficial, it's, it makes you wonder, then why are all of these things happening? And even though some of them say it's not because of my diet, and some say it might be, and some say I'm not supposed to eat the way that I do, um, you do see a connection that before you went vegan, you didn't have these health problems. After going vegan, you do. Um, and that is, it makes me question my veganism, it makes me want to go back to eating animal products because I'm scared of getting sick. I keep having anxiety now um, because every time I feel something, if I, for instance, have been sleeping in a weird position and then my hand or arm is temporarily um, uh, paralyzed and then when you switch position then the feeling comes back before I just switched the position um, of my arm and I didn't really think much about it now I wake up and think oh my god is it because I have a nerve damage is it because I'm vegan and then for those <laughs> 30 seconds I'm waiting for the uh, for the arm to wake up um, then I'm scared and that didn't happen before I went vegan so I feel like it's too hard to be vegan not because it's difficult to make food not because I'm not because I don't love the food, it's because I'm terrified of my health. Which is why I went vegan in the first place, the main reason. I did it also because of the animals. And the environmental aspect wasn't on my radar yet. Uh, but that came later. So I'm at a point now, right before I got my neurological damage, I have um, booked um, help from Pamela Popper which is a um, uh, she's the director of a health organization that she calls the Wellness Forum and um, so now that I have this that was before if, uh, when I still wanted to be vegan. Now I'm not quite sure anymore what to do. So I'm hoping that she might help me with 
what I'm going through now. Um, and that's not the way that I would approach this before, because I would follow the mainstream. But after following the mainstream and getting th three diseases or three health issues, um, I feel like I gotta try something new. And going to Pam uh, is something new. And I'm hoping she can help me. She was gonna help me with my uh, ulcerative colitis. But maybe she also has something to say about um, my n neurological problems in my feet. Uh, my medical doctor, he said that I might have low B12. Let's see if I can find... He says, the test showed... Um, I have the letter from him right here. The test showed possibly a little bit low B12, uh, but low uh, and low cholesterol. Um, so my B12 was total cobalamin, whatever that means, 203. And my cholesterol was 3. L. Um, and it's supposed to be between 3.3 .3 and 6.9. So he was concerned with my cholesterol being low. And I didn't think that was an issue when you were vegan because your body produces cholesterol and you don't need to eat them. Um, you don't need to eat products with cholesterol, which is animal products. Um, and also, my inflammatory bowel disease uh, clinical nutritionist uh, told me that I should be careful with oils, so I can't like eat a lot of oils to increase my cholesterol. Uh, because then I get bowel problems um, according to what she says so I feel like I can't win I feel like I'm always being pushed towards eating animal products again which I really don't want to but at this point I'm willing to try anything um, so today I bought fish um, salmon more specifically and I also bought what is that in English? Leva postai, which is liver pate, something like that, and also one other thing that I can't remember. And um, when I lifted some white fish in the uh, supermarket. Uh, it was packaged in plastic, but when I smelled it, it smelled so bad and I feel like e starting to eat animal products again is going to be an issue, uh, that it's going to be difficult. Not because I necessarily have problems with eating animals on a moral level, but because I've been away from it so long that it might not taste good. I have hated for a couple of years the smell of fish. So I think eating fish will be a problem. Uh, but what I have done lately when this tingling started, because I'm scared and because my doctor has talked about um, that I... Uh, he, he, my doctor doesn't believe that we should be vegan or not everyone should be vegan because everyone is different and you have to see how your body reacts. Um, which is not what the mainstream says, like the L Lung and Heart Association in Norway, they say that they recommend a plant-based diet and when you, uh, if you want to be 100% plant-based, then there are ways to do that too. So they don't support my medical doctor's uh, view. So um, I 
uh, I, since I'm scared, since I'm in a situation where I'm constantly reminded of neurological problems in my feet, I'm always scared. So and my doctor said eggs have everything that uh, you need. So uh, if you're going to eat something, eat, eat eggs. If you're going to eat animal products. So I've been eating eggs for the last two weeks or last week or something uh, which I found some shells um, when you crack open the egg and there's this tiny little piece of white shell that is in the food made me nearly vomit um, so I, I feel like I'm highly sensitive to eating animal products so I don't know what will happen if I keep on doing it, if I will stop, if I will go full on, if my uh, consolation with Pamela Popper will, will help, if I can go back to being vegan. I don't know where I'm at right now. All I know is that I'm scared and I'm trying to figure out my next move. And I do want to keep on being vegan. And my camera got unfocused. Yep. So I do want to keep on being vegan, but at this point, I'm not. Um, depending on how you look at it, the definition is the, the the one that I follow is do it when it's avoid animal products when it's practical and possible and in the situation I'm in, with the surroundings that are pressuring me. I, I feel pressured to go back to eating animal products. So in my heart, I feel vegan because I'm doing everything possible. Um, but it's, it's not very practical at this time because of the pressure that I get and because of my anxiety of getting sick. So that's how I feel right now, um, and I wanted to document this raw. Um, and one last thing is that I, I'm very scared of, my biggest fear is ALS. That is not something I want. And second to that is multiple sclerosis. Um, and I'm scared that it is MS. I'm really scared about that. I really, really, really hope that it's not. Oh, that would suck so bad. And I, I try not to Google too much, um, but I have been right before when I was writing about uh, cancer because this guy on YouTube, he had testicular cancer uh, he was called, uh, he calls himself uh, Furious Pete and vegans keep bashing him for eating animal products and they said you have cancer because you're not vegan and I had a really big problem with that and I thought it was really uncalled for so I did research on cancer and I wrote about it and while writing about it I saw on the Norwegian Cancer Organization that if you have these symptoms with bowel um, movements, you might have cancer. So con um, uh, contact your doctor. And I contacted my doctor and then I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. So I have been right. Yeah. It said on, I think it said on the website that it might not be cancer, it might be a lot of other things, but do contact your doctor because this is something that you need to take a look at. And so I feel like my research is on point a lot of times. Um, so if I do too much research, I feel that because I've been right in the past, um, I... I don't want to speculate. I don't want to keep on thinking 
maybe I have MS because that's what it says here when you have neurological damages. Maybe I have thiamine shortage. Um, and also for the record, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> that's also one thing that keeps coming up. Vitamin absorption problems if you're an alcoholic, uh, which I'm not, I, I can't afford that. If I could afford that, maybe, but, um, but um, at the moment, no. And for a while, no. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. Thanks for listening.